Hey, my Lipton's. So listen, I was not going to do a video on politics because y'all, and it's been a minute since I did a video based on politics, but it's just, you know, politics of, you know, for, I would say the past. Well, since honestly, we're going to keep it, we're going to be real. Since 2016, I just haven't been happy with what's been going on in politics at all. But, you know, Listen, if y'all have been so my day once on this channel, y'all will know that I am not a fan of the Democratic Party. I'm not a fan of the Republican Party. I think us as a country deserve better. I think that we should be away with the Democratic and Republican Party. Or if, even if they are going to be here, we might as well have like third party, you know, third party, thir you know, we need other parties we need we need to be away like the democratic party the republican party are all the same i don't care what i i just i just don't give a fuck about what anybody says i don't care what the neocon liberals say and i don't give a damn what the what these hardcore conservative far right people say both of you hoes are all the same to the many faces okay and honestly i i i just hate that you know unfortunately um, these two tired as disgusting as zombie as ghoulish as parties are the only options that we have. Um, God willing, we can pray for a miracle that in the future, hope, and hopefully it is within my lifetime. But as of right now, I mean, at least let me let me say it for my children's sake. At least during their lifetimes, you know, they will, they can have some third party candidates, some third people, some third party people that can come in here and can be on the ballots. But as of right now, during my lifetime, it's looking real bleak. Um, I don't see it for me. I don't see it for us right now. Hopefully for the next generation, for the Zoomers and them, um, things will be better. But um, you yeah, already know. I, like, if you have been my day once, I, I just I can't stand both parties. I can't stand both of these candidates. I think that we as a country deserve better. And I'm so I'm you know, I'm actually surprised. I would say I'm actually I'm I'm not I'm not so much so surprised about this debate. And what occurred, I'm actually surprised at the media's reaction, the mainstream media's reaction to um, this disastrous debate that occurred last night. Now, if y'all were normal, common sense human beings um, like me, I did not watch this bullshit as debate yesterday. I was on, um, you know what I was doing last night? I was in my bed rewatching Queen Charlotte. You know, binge watching Queen Charlotte, binge watching the Bridgerton series, you know, you know, watching something that that pleases the heart. OK, that makes my heart bloom. That makes my soul just blossom. OK, I was not going to watch something that was going to make my blood boil. Seeing these two idiots, seeing these two ghoulish, these zombies, these bloodsuckers on my I was not going to watch that shit. And clearly I did not. I did see something and I wish I had. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry y'all, that I don't have it up here. Um, I did see that the viewership um, for the debate went down from last year. I think apparently last year, I think about 73 million Americans watched the debate. And for yesterday's debate, I think only 49 million people watched it. If I, if I have to go back and look at that statistic. But I want to be honest with y'all. I'm not surprised that there was a, you know, the viewership went down from last year. People are getting, to, first of all, the fact that it's even at the, you know, 49 million, 79 million, as if there aren't 300 million people in the freaking United States, okay? At least half of us, at least 100 million, 200 million people should be watching to this presidential debate. But no, because of this bullshit ass system, because of this situation, only 40, 49 million? 49 million to 300 million people watch this freaking presidential debate in the United States? It just shows how disillusioned Americans are when it comes to politics, me included. It shows how tired, how exhausted, how we want out of this abusive relationship that we have with the two-party system. And honestly, it really just shows that how a majority of Americans are sick and tired of seeing Joe Biden and John Donald Trump along with their lackeys, along with their thugs, the Obamas, the Hillary Clintons, the, the, the Chris Christie's, the Ron DeSantis's, the the Nancy Pelosi's, the Chuck, the Hakeem Jeffries, we're just we're tired of seeing them along with their goons on a television screen. So we just decided to turn the TV off for the ones that actually tuned into the debate. 
Clearly, those were the neocon liberals, the tap dancing liberals, the fucking, oh my God, massa pick me liberals. And then on top of that, you also had the little far right, you know, wannabe goon, wannabe thug as people that tuned in. Those were probably the only people that tuned in. For the rest of us common sense individuals, we tuned out. We tuned out. Because at the point, we just came to the point where we've reached, we have settled with the fact with this, with this election season, where we're going to be at. And how we are going to, you already know, I've said it multiple times on this channel, I'm not voting for either Donald Trump or Joe Biden, nor am I going to force any of my subscribers to vote for either party. Y'all vote, whatever, <clears throat> whatever suits y'all, whatever makes y'all feel comfortable, whatever, if y'all vote your own self-interest, y'all vote your own self -interest. That's where I'm at in my life. That's what I'm not forcing nobody. I'm not going to be out here fear mongering to nobody. I'm not going to be because quite frankly, the Democrats can come out here talking about some Republican fascism all they want. If the Republicans are fascist, the Democrats are fascist light. Okay. Y'all are just the fucking same. Y'all love to separate shit by party. But if we were to separate shit by class, that's a whole entirely different story because Y'all be having the same exact donors as Republicans. So y'all can get the fuck up out of my face about this full bullshit fascism. Y'all are fascists. Y'all, if they're fascists, y'all are fascists too. Either way, like I said, I'm not forcing none of my subscribers to vote for either party. If y'all want to vote for either or Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat, third party, independent, y'all, y'all do what y'all. At this point, I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, especially with this, with this economy, with what's going on, the recession the inflation, everything that's happening. I want y'all to do what makes y'all feel happy. At the end of the day, us as citizens, us as the constituents, we deserve way better than these bullshit ass politicians. And y'all need to do, at the, stop, y'all don't be in, in, emboldened or feel like you, um, you're, you're in debt to these politicians. Vote, vote how y'all want to vote. Vote how y'all want to vote. I'm no longer going to be forced. I'm not, please. I'm not fear mongering. I'm not going to do anything. At the end of the day, y'all already know my dissatisfaction with this. Also, so y'all do y'all do what makes y'all feel happy, what makes y'all sleep well at night. Okay? I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to live their best lives. And I just know within myself, I will sleep better at night vote, not voting for these two bullshit ass motherfuckers. So, like I said, I was very surprised at the mainstream narrative that finally, after fucking... Three years, all of a sudden the mainstream media wants to call out the fact that Joe Biden is fucking old and he's literally about to fall off the freaking the stairs, about to die in 2.5 seconds. I'll be very surprised if he makes it to November. Now, all of a sudden, people want to start calling that out. Oh, he looked, he was stuttering, he was blabbering, he looked old, he looked this, he looked that. Mind you, we were calling this shit out three years ago. I was dragging Joe Biden when I, when did I start it? Like what? One and a half years? I was dragging this man, obviously not just purely on his age, but based on some of the policies that he was putting in place. I was dragging the shit out of him. But what was happening? What was that being called? When I, when you go on TikTok, some of the videos that I did on Joe Biden, on the Democratic Party, dragging the shit out of them, you had some of these fucking, uh, the fact that there are even stands or fans of the Democratic Party shows where we're at. In this in this society because that is crazy as hell why the hell are you a fan of a public that's supposed to be someone of that's supposed to be a public servant how are you a stand of a public servant how are you standing for joe biden and kamala harris make that make sense so their stance came under my comment section especially on tiktok they were dragging me they were like oh you don't know shit you need to be oh you want trump oh you want this oh you want that so i was just like listen Y'all can get mad at me all you want. The truth shall set you free. And child, it set them free last night. People, now all of a sudden you have these bullshit ass mainstream media, fake ass journalists want to be coming in here. Oh my God, Joe Biden did so terrible. Joe Biden did so this. Joe Biden. Yeah, Trump lied, but Joe Biden did terrible. And I'm like, listen, y'all, this is who y'all wanted. These are the people that y'all wanted as nominees and all these people, this is who y'all got. And I mean that for the media as well. If the media and these journalists, like the CNN, the CNNs of the world, MSNBC, Fox News, you know, NBC, all, all of them, if y'all truly cared and actually did y'all jobs and actually be the journalists that y'all claim to be, y'all actually went to school for, y'all would have been called this out a long time ago. 
But instead, y'all were boot, y'all were boot licking. Y'all were bending over backwards. Y'all were laying on y'all backs, getting, getting penetrated by these two parties. Now, when the shit hits the fan, now all of a sudden y'all want to talk about Joe Biden getting replaced. Or I've, I've been telling y'all, you know what? I hope Joe Biden stays. I actually hope he does stay because. Now y'all want to be talking about, well, maybe he, we should think about him stepping down. Bitch, where was y'all a year and a half ago when I was calling this out? Where was y'all? I've been saying this. I've been talking about this. Now, the fact that we're how many months out? It's about to be November in a few months. Y'all guys want to talk about maybe he should step down? Bitch, y'all should have told Joe Biden to step down two years ago. And even, like, even, even when you think about it realistically, let's say Joe Biden were to drop out to, you know, today. We are so close to elections. It's like, first of all, one, y'all should have asked this man to drop out at least two years ago. At least two years ago. Y'all should have got whatever neocon liberal y'all wanted to get in, because clearly y'all not going to, you know, choose any, any third-party candidate. But y'all could have got any neocon liberal to come in there and come take his place and have him, that that person, that nominee, campaign for two, two years at least until we got to this point. But now we're in freaking, we're in June. We're in June. November is just a few months out, and now you're talking about replacing him and making him step down. Listen, of course, in my own little thing, do I want Joe Biden to step down? Yes, I want him to step down. I want him and his administration to get the fuck up out of my face. But then again, it's like, you know, who some, who are these Democrats going to choose? They're going to choose the same someone just like a Joe Biden type, just like a Nancy Pelosi type, just like an Obama type, just like a, uh, a Chuck Schumer type. So then it's like nothing really, it's really still not going to please me about who they're going to choose. But, you know, should he step down? Yes. Just based on the performance that he's been doing, especially last night, he, Joe Biden really showed his ass. He shit the bed last night. And, you know, but there's a part of me too that also wants to teach a lot of these Democratic establishment motherfuckers a lesson, the mainstream media lesson. Y'all were gaslighting us. Y'all were lying to us. Y'all told us to shut the fuck up and accept this bullshit. And now all of a sudden y'all talking about some, oh, well, he needs to step down. No, bitch. Y'all said, said that he could, he could, you know, he can finish, you know, go to the finish line. Let him go to the finish line. Even if it comes to, even if it comes down to him dropping dead a month before the election, let him go. Y'all need to learn. Y'all need to learn. Either way, I just think that it is hilarious that people are now freaking out. The mainstream media is now freaking out over the situation that these are the two candidates, that these is the best, this is the best that we can do. But I, I, but then again, I've been saying this. I was like, yo, is this the best that we can do? Is this the best? If fashion someone was so much of, it, it wouldn't like, there was a quote I'm forgetting, I'm paraphrasing, but like there wouldn't be a threat of fascism if these Democrats and the Democratic Party and the Democratic establishment were actually doing their fucking jobs instead of instead of taking, instead of working for their corporate interests and working for these corporations and taking in stocks and, and doing all these extra, extra, being businessmen, basically, businessmen and businesswomen in Congress and in the White House, instead of y'all working for the people, y'all were working for, the pharmaceutical companies, y'all working for the fossil fuel companies, y'all working for all these other people, for APAC. Y'all y'all doing all of this tap dancing for them. But when it comes to your own constituents and your own people and your own citizens, y'all will throw fucking crumbs at us. And y'all are cowards. And now the quote unquote threat to democracy. Joe Biden, I mean, uh, Donald Trump, even though y'all are just as fascist as the Republicans. Now y'all want to be out here. Free the fear mongering tactics are not going to work this election. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm not even sorry. Like, it's like at this point, I'm glad that it's not working anymore. Y'all tried it a couple of years ago, but now I'm over it. I don't give a fuck. At this point, I've, I've, I've really accepted what is going to happen in November. I've accepted whether it's going to be Trump. Or whether it's going to be Biden, it's above me now. I, I, I've, 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 I've come to terms because y'all are talking about all these extra shit. I've come to terms with this election at this point. I've really come to terms with it. I'm over it. If they swap Joe Biden out, you know, before election season, you know, shrug shoulders. I don't care. Um, and let's say hypothetically, let's say hypothetically, um, they swap Biden out. Most likely, for me, I would think the top choice that the Democrats will pick 
is um, Gavin Newsom. That's just the way that, like, because people are trying to make him the heir, the quote unquote heir apparent to the Democratic Party. So I think maybe Gavin Newsom. Um, and I know, you know, some of, some of you, unfortunate, and I had to call y'all out, but some of you, you know, especially you older black women that be tamp dancing for the Democratic Party, y'all gonna feel some type of way talking about, oh, it should have been Kamala Harris. Girl, they're not gonna put, they're not, they're not gonna put Kamala, Kamala Cop Harris as a freaking, pre like, stop, be serious. They're not gonna put her as a president. So I think, I think Gavin Newsom is, right, I would say number one. Number two... Oh, nah, I can't, I can't even say Gretchen Whitmer. Maybe Gavin Newsom and Josh Shapiro, the governor from Pennsylvania, I think. But then again, Josh Shapiro doesn't have a lot of name recognition compared to Gavin Newsom. So I would definitely say if they're going to do the swap, and honestly, if they're going to do the swap, even though I think it's too late, but whatever. If y'all going to do the swap, do the swap now. And honestly, get Gavin Newsom out there. He already has name recognition. Just, you know, travel him around the, around the country a few months. And let's see what happens in November. But other than that, I'm not surprised that Joe Biden did terrible. I'm just actually surprised that the media finally admitted that this man is a walking corpse. And he's a, he's a genocidal maniac. So I'm, I'm surprised that y'all that y'all are fucking finally coming to those terms and those facts. But, you know, Trump, you know, Trump is Trump. At the end of the day, I wasn't surprised at some of the things that he was saying, the lies that he was spewing. I'm just over both of them. I'm just over both of them. I'm over it. I'm tired. Um, I hate that these are our choices. I wish we had third party candidates. Um, hopefully in my lifetime it happens. I would love to see that. Um, but you know, but then again too, what's his name? RFK Jr. is also catching up steam. Um, I will say this. There's a few things I agree with RFK Jr. on. There's other things where I, I, I completely disagree with him on. So I don't know. Even with him, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to vote for him either. It's weird. It's this. <laughs> I just don't know, but but I know well what I do know for sure for sure is like I'm not voting for these two, Joe Biden and T Donald Trump. I, it's never gonna happen, and and, and honestly, I'm, I think there's a lot more people that are gonna be with me in that aspect of things. I'm not voting for these two clowns. So either way, y'all, y'all guys, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you guys tune into the presidential debate? I sure didn't. How do you guys feel? Did you guys think that J Joe Biden shit the bed? Um, did you guys think that Joe, uh, Donald Trump won that debate? Or do you guys feel like, you know, both these two clowns are fascists and they both deserve to go to hell at, and they will go to hell? And, you know, maybe we're definitely better off without them. So, like guys, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, let's get up to 900 subscribers. The goal is to get up to 1,000. I thank y'all so much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.